I've been um, here at Western Oregon University at the Research Institute since the fall of 2008. Um, but I've been in education a few years more than that. I started in California as an elementary school teacher, teaching kindergarten all the way to sixth grade, and then I went off to Alaska to work in rural Alaska and ended up staying there for over 30 years. Welcome to Within These Halls, a series of interviews exploring the people and the work at the Research Institute at Western Oregon University. Meet Christina Regal, director of TRI's Center on Educator Preparation and Effectiveness. Dr. Regal's long and varied career in education makes her the perfect person to lead this center and its many projects. Um, when I first went to Alaska, I was teaching in a place that has two names. Uh, I, on the map, it says Fortuna Ledge, but everybody that goes there calls it Marshall, and that's on the Yukon River. And then I taught in Holy Cross and Alakakat and New Lotto, and then I lived in Ninana, which is a road community because Alaska doesn't have a lot of roads, so that's the road down from Fairbanks on the way to Anchorage. And then I went to Juneau, and that was when I got connected to a um, resource center, which is very much like the Research Institute. And uh, we worked with all the school districts across Alaska, and, I, um, and they're very small. They didn't have enough people to do the work, so I was able to do some of the work and go out to visit them and... Um, write grants for them, coordinate programs, do teacher training. I did a lot of teacher training. And um, so I was very fortunate to travel around the state. That was a great experience for me because it gave me a lot of, well, I have preschool through college level because there you wear many, many hats, just like at the Research Institute, you wear many, many hats. <laughs> One of the unique things about the Research Institute and um, many of my years in Alaska, 25 of 30 plus, mm -hmm. I worked in uh, writing grants. Um, I went up to Alaska to teach in rural schools, and I did, but then they started needing people to write grants, and um, I didn't even know what a grant was. A lot of people have kind of this idea that grants is just this um, money that's floating around in the air and anybody can write for it, but uh, it's really not. Nike gives money to schools, um, Apple has given money to schools, I mean a lot of big companies, mm -hmm. but they don't just give it to schools. They generally say this is our purpose that we would like to see this money used for, and then there are requirements for those uh, grants. <laughs> you're awarded a grant, you have a new opportunity to work with another population in our state. And I'm very committed to rural communities because they have limited resources. One of my um, loves in Alaska was working with um, culturally um, and linguistically um, different groups because there's a lot there. And I've brought that skill here and uh, Oregon has been experiencing, is still experiencing, sort of a shift in the populations. And so I've had the opportunity to work with the College of Ed here at Western on a couple of projects. And we're always trying to find different projects that, or different ways to work with uh, other communities. Um, several of the projects that I work on right now um, are around teacher education. Uh, we have projects to work with uh, early childhood uh, uh, undergrads who don't have their graduate degrees or don't even have their bachelor's degrees yet and are trying to get a bachelor's degree to meet the new uh, requirements while they are still working and having their families. So that's uh, quite challenging. Another project that I have is working with um, teachers that are already teaching in schools and are getting a specialization to be a math instructional leader within their district. Um, I'm the evaluator on the project and I get to work with the 
um, professors here at Western that are teaching the classes. It's a wonderful example of how the Western's um, College of Education and College of Liberal Arts and Sciences can work collaboratively to provide a program like this. Another project <coughs> that I've worked on now for five years is the Oregon um, Mentoring Program for school districts that have written a grant to um, have uh, mentors for their beginning teachers and beginning administrators. I think what is remarkable about Christina and what I've learned from Christina is um, her strong background and understanding in education. That's Mary Ellen Delestrito, who has worked with Dr. Regal on several projects here at TRI. She has a really broad base of understanding of education and she always, in whatever we're doing, draws on that. And I always see that from her. And then another piece that inspires me is her um, continuous concern with cultural diversity and the importance of cultural diversity in education and, and always comes back to that I think and is always thinking about the importance of cultural diversity and bringing the lens of cultural diversity into whatever discussions we're having. Amber Ryerson is another colleague of Dr. Regal's here at TRI working closely with her and learning the ropes. I met Christina uh, when I started here three years ago, kind of knew at that moment that I wanted to uh, someday eventually work with her and under her projects. Christina is one of those people that um, you don't find every day. She's very inspiring and she's uplifting, she's empowering. Um, she really is a good guide or a good teacher, um, taking her knowledge and skills and being able to help others. not getting to be with students in the classroom on a daily basis, I thought, okay, I have to have um, sort of a, a, an outcome for myself to feel like I'm still contributing. So I have to feel very strongly about a project and um, like beginning teachers. I know what it felt like when I was back being a beginning teacher in California before I went to Alaska. When I went to Alaska and I was another different type of beginning teacher. So I have to feel like, is there a reason that beginning teachers need mentors? Because a mentor is different than the teacher next door that just shows you where the lunchroom is um, and where the playground is for a recess. And so mentoring um, and understanding how um, beginning teachers feel um, helps me really see the significance of that. Dr. Christina Regal may have left the classroom years ago, but she has never stopped teaching. Her students aren't those enrolled in classes. They are her colleagues who sit across the table from her during project meetings, absorbing the experience and wisdom she so generously shares. And the projects she leads? Those have ripple effects that touch hundreds of teachers and thousands of their students. This has been Within These Halls, a production of the Research Institute at Western Oregon University. For more information about TRI, go to triwou.org.